Before the opening bell, U.S. indices, they closed down on Monday, pressured by shares in automobiles and components, capital goods, as well as the U.S. material sectors. This all adds 85% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower or unchanged yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Tesla in the headlines after it lost ground and extended trade after CEO Elon Musk tweeted regarding battery day that was what we announced will not reach serious high volume production until 2022. Moving on, Amazon.com also in the headlines and it's gaining ground before hours after the stock was upgraded to outperform from market perform over at Bernstein. Now, taking a look at expectations today, once again, there's no major earnings expected, but on the economic docket, we do have a bit of a busy schedule. 8.55 in the morning, we have the release of the Red Book. 10 o'clock in the morning, we have the release of the Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index. At the same time, we have the release of U.S. existing home sales figures. Then 10.30 in the morning, we have a, Fed, we have a testimony from Fed Chair Jerome Powell. Taking a look now at the markets, the S&P 500, that's where we begin. That sees a bullish bias above 32.44, and that's in focus. Even though a continuation of the consolidation should not be ruled out, the extent should be limited. Long positions above 32.44 are favored with targets at 32.92 and 33.26 in extension. The Nasdaq, meanwhile, intraday sees a bullish bias above 10,880. This while the Dow Jones intraday happens to see the bias remain bullish.